Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Oxygen Not Included. I love this game, and I hate this game. I love it because it is a really, really good game, and I hate it because I suck at it. Like, I, I massively suck at it. But I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while now, and I figure that, you know, you all know that I suck at games. So, it's not going to matter. I really want to get better at this game, and I'm hoping that people in the comments will be able to help me. There you go, it's on you now. So, we'll start a new game. We're going no sweat, because, yeah, obviously. And we'll go for a standard world, uh, with all these things in it. All the world traits. Um, this had a lot of updates since it's been released. They've done a hell of a lot to this game. Um, I've, I've been playing it for years and I'm still no good at it, so let's go. Okay, I have our three starting duplicates. I've gone for a builder, a digger, and a farmer researcher. Uh, we've got Toot Balden, Burton Coggles, and Botus Fleming. So, let's get going. Here we are. I've woken up the target location, but colonization efforts have already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but became trapped many miles underground instead. Although the conditions are not ideal, it's imperative that I establish a colony here and begin mounting efforts to escape. Okay, let's pause up for a second. Let's have a look around. We've got ourselves some water down here. That's good. Uh, we've got some more up here. Um, fair amount of copper ore, which is useful. A uh, little bit of coal, not a huge amount. Okay, that's not terrible. Okay, so I have played this game many, many times, and I very rarely get past 120, 130 cycles. So, let's see how we do. First of all, then, uh, we're going to dig out this way. Um, and I also want to dig out this way, and yeah, like like so. Okay, so what I want to do then is I want to get down here to this uh, this water as quickly as possible. So um, yeah, we'll come down like that. Uh, and what I will do is I will increase the priority of this bit so that we'll get that done first and then we'll move on to uh, all the other stuff we need to do. Uh, I want to put in a water pump uh, and I'll pop that in there just for the moment. That's fine. Don't care that it's underwater. We'll sort that out in a minute. Uh, and over here is going to be our latrines. Um, let's have a look. Where do I want to go? I think we're going to have our central uh, upwards ladder around about here. Just as a marker. Okay. I will spin things on a little bit. Let's let's speed things up because I want to get this done. Um, so that's our corridor. We want our wash basins in there, and then we will want to leave a gap there and come back that far with all of this. Yep, that works for me. Okay, so, once they've built all this, I will be back. Hopefully they'll get it done by the end of the day. Let's get rid of all these messages. We don't need to see tutorials. Yeah, hopefully they'll be able to get this done by the end of the day. They might not be able to. Let's help them out a little bit. We'll dig down there, and we will... Prioritise... All of that. So hopefully we'll be able to get two people working on that at, at a time. Okay. I'll jump on till this is done. Okay, it's not quite the end of the day yet, but we have our three latrines, our three wash basins in. We have our pitcher pump in as well. Um, I'm putting in steps up to this level here. Uh, I want our floors to be four tiles high. 
because that seems to work best. Uh, they can dig out four tiles from the ground level. Um, most of the machinery fits easily within four tiles. So yeah, that's what I'm doing there. There we go. That's the end of the day. That's fine. We'll be able to use the latrines. We'll be able to uh, wash up. Um, I should probably set that to store all of the, this raw food as well. So, for those of you that haven't played the game, the idea is that we are stuck here inside this asteroid and we have to get out. Uh, but we obviously have to stop ourselves from dying in the process. We will be supplied with regular um, new duplicants. Um, I think it's every sort of four or five days, something like that, they, they print. Uh, we can choose either duplicants or like a supply package, which is, I think, random. Um, yeah, uh, it, it depends what we want. Uh, duplicants obviously have needs. Toiletry, food, sleeping areas, things like that. Um, so they need to be managed, otherwise they get upset. There are critters. We have a hatch wandering around here. These things eat rocks and poop coal, so they're quite useful to... Um, to farm later on. Um, we've got these things which are buried muckroot. We have different... Re uh, that's food. It's not good food, but it's food. Um, different types of resources, different metal ores, different types of rock. We've got algae, dirt, um, fertilizer down here, uh, sand. We've got slime. This gives off um, polluted oxygen. Uh, as you can see here, we've got polluted oxygen here. Uh, we have to deal with breathability. We have to deal with getting... Oh, we've got more water over here. I didn't even notice that. That's nice. Um, yeah, we obviously have to deal with uh, the various gases. You can see here where there's this sort of blue swirly um, effect. That's oxygen. The black is carbon dioxide. Um, this yellowy stuff is polluted oxygen. That's got germs in it, and that will make your dupes sick. Um, there is also hydrogen... Um, chlorine. Um, there's some hydrogen there, look. The, the, the pink stuff. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff and it all behaves differently and you'll have to really sort of be careful about managing it. Okay, so day two then. We want to get some stuff sorted. We are going to clear this area here. That's going to be our, um, initial dormitory, I think. Uh, and then we'll put our research in that over here. Oh, this stuff here. This is oxalite. This burns itself up and gives off oxygen. As you, It did used to be these tiles as well. But that's burnt out now that it's um, freed up. So once... There's another bit over there that's going to be giving off oxygen very, very slowly. Uh, depending on the pressure around it. So we want to be careful about that. Oh, we've had a, a cave-in. Sand... Yeah, sand will fall if you bear, if you dig out what's underneath it, obviously. Okay, so that's that side getting dug out. We're going to put some uh, cots in over here. Uh, yeah, might as well just put them in like so. And then we want to come across this way. So we're going to need to put in a floor across there. I don't want to dig up the oxalite because uh, if you do that, it reduces the amount of oxygen it is capable of giving off so you lose out on that so i'm going to leave that to just um off gas itself there off gas is that right the right phrase genuinely no idea right i'll let them dig some of this out and then i'll put in our research station and some oxygen uh, production up here okay brief catch up we're still waiting for all this to be uh dug out we've got our cots in uh i've dug out a section of the ground there to allow this carbon dioxide that's built up uh, to filter down because um, obviously it's heavier than oxygen so it will in theory drop down there um, which will allow our dupes to actually be able to breathe whilst they're sleeping which will be helpful um, okay we're doing okay over here let's get some stuff in over here shall we um, we'll put our manual generator there we'll put a couple of batteries in there uh, and we'll connect all that up with wires. Um, we will also want an oxygen diffuser. Um, I'm going to pop that over there for the moment. We'll almost certainly end up moving that eventually. Um, 
and we want to connect that up as well, but I'm going to go through the tiles there so I don't destroy those. Okay, and then we are going to want a research station so we can do the sciencings. There we go. Right. Let's get that done, shall we? Um... Hmm. We don't really have anywhere except for here for the carbon dioxide to drop down into yet, which is not brilliant, because um, we don't want it building up in this level. Uh, I've left this um, little nodule here, just in case we get a, uh, a leak of polluted water from somewhere up here that makes its way down. I don't want that dropping down into our clean water. So that should stop it unless we get, you know, a ridiculous amount of polluted water spilled here, which shouldn't happen. Uh, we will eventually want to set this up as a proper sort of um, storage tank for clean water, and we'll want a storage tank for uh, polluted water as well. Um, that's not 100% urgent at the moment. Uh, it will be necessary fairly quickly. But there's a, a few things we want to get done first. Namely, food. Because at the moment we're eating muckroot and whatever else we can pick up off the floor. And that's not ideal. So we want to at least grow some food that they can eat. Let's get this research station, an oxygen diffuser and everything all set up. There we go, just the research station left. Right, there's our research station in. Let's get some research underway. This is the tech tree. So as you can see, there's quite a lot. And it gets confusing really quickly for a bear of little brain like myself. Uh, but first of all, we are going to go straight in. Oops. Stop sliding. There we go. Uh, we're going to go straight in for uh, meal preparation. So we're going to get basic farming and meal preparation. Uh, this only takes basic research, uh, or novice research. Uh, we get up to this tier, we need advanced research as well, which means we need to research the supercomputer. Uh, but not just yet. So, meal preparation, that's going to give us access to an algae terrarium, which is another way of producing oxygen, um, and eat up a little bit of carbon dioxide, but it does produce um, polluted water. Uh, it gives us planter, box blo uh, planter boxes, which are okay, but I won't be using them. Uh, ration boxes and compost so we can turn polluted dirt into dirt. That's useful, at least at the start. Less so the further you go. Uh, but it will also give us access to the electric grill, the egg cracker, uh, a mess table, and this thing, the farm tile. Yeah, that's what we want. That's, that's, that's the, the aim of going for both of these, is basically that at the moment. Uh, that allows us to grow food much more efficiently. Okay. So, somebody will come along and do that. Now that we've got the basics set up, or most of the basics set up, I'm going to look at priorities. So, uh, Toot here is good at building, so we're going to prioritise building. Um, Burton is good at digging, so we're going to prioritise digging. Uh, Botus is our researcher and farmer, so we're going to uh, prioritise both of those. Uh, and we might as well prioritise uh, attacking on Burton as well. Okay, that's that done. Let's start... Hmm, thinking about this. We'll, we'll open this up to start with. Uh, I want to keep things in, in four tile high floors. So, let's have a look. Right, this needs to be deconstructed quickly and moved up so it's in the right place. Oh, you're running out of oxygen, are you? Oh, well, fair enough. There we go. Toot has her breath back. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. That needs to go in there. But it's the end of the day. Right. Okay. We have 23,980 calories. That's fine. We have meteor showers. Ah, that's not really going to bother us down here. Um, this is our stress level. 
we're not stressed. Everything's fine. Number of dupes here. And then we've got all of our other stats and things up here. Uh, we've already looked at the research. Uh, skills we'll get to when they start leveling up. Uh, and we start being able to spend skills. Priorities uh, we have looked at. Uh, the schedule, we can set a schedule for them. I'm not going to bother at the moment. There's no point. There's only three of them. There's only one schedule. Uh, once we get more dupes, we might want to set up additional schedules there. Uh, consumables, this just, what are they allowed to eat? At the moment, I'm allowing them to eat everything. Um, because we don't have a lot. Once we start producing our own food, start growing and cooking our own food, we'll take off some of the raw stuff. Um, and that will boost their morale because they'll be eating you know, better quality food. Yeah. That's all the stuff we found so far. We can get rid of all of that. We don't need to see that. And I'll spin on till morning. Okay, there we are at morning again. Um, we are waiting for our pitcher, pump, uh, our pitcher pump to be built there. So that's fine. I think this is going to be the top of our clean water storage. Um, and we'll, we'll build down this way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this ladder down here, uh, and dig out like that, and then come across to, I guess, there. Hmm, now I might as well come across all the way, hadn't I? There we go, we'll come across all the way. That gives the, um, carbon dioxide somewhere to drop down into. Um, let's not do that one because this is going to be a wall eventually because um, again we don't want to connect these up any more than we have to because we want to totally minimize the the possibility of contaminating our clean water essentially okay just about done with the first bit of research by the looks of it really need to get rid of some of this carbon uh, dioxide i'll spin on Right, there's the first bit of our research done. So we've unlocked the uh, the compost heap there. Uh, we've unlocked the ration box and the planter box. Uh, and we've unlocked the algae terrarium. I'm not going to put in an algae terrarium just yet. Uh, I might put in another oxygen diffuser down here. Um, maybe. But once we've dug through all of here, that carbon dioxide should start filtering down uh, and give us a bit more breathable air in this sort of workable area. Okay, what next? I mean, we need food, so let's start working towards that. We'll dig out there, and we'll dig up to that. Um, uh, slow things down a bit, so I can see what I'm doing. Right, uh, our new floor needs to go in there. And there. Okay, so we'll start that. And once we've got the... Oh, hello. Once we've got the uh, next bit of research, we can lay in farm tiles along there so we can start planting up some food. But we have a new duplicate available. Let's have a look. What have we got? Marie, you are an operator. So you get plus nine machinery, but you're also a Luddite. So you get a minus three to machinery as well. That's not ideal. Uh, or a decorator. You see, neither of those are particularly useful. Um, or we've got some eggs, shine nymphs, or some sandstone. Um, honestly, I don't want either of these two. And the shine nymph eggs aren't any use to us at the moment. They'll hatch and they'll be annoying. So, yeah, we'll get some sandstone. Not that we need it, but we'll, we'll take it. Uh, let's dig out that sand there. Okay, let's spin on till this research is done. It's only going to be a couple of seconds. And there we go. Our research is done. Let's dig out this sand collapse here. Okay, so we got ourselves a mess table so we can give them somewhere to sit and eat. Uh, the egg cracker, the electric grill, and the farm tile. So, uh, no, I don't want to put that there. That's not what I want to do at all. I want to think about this. Okay, um, yeah, that's that's fine. And then we'll stretch over. Fifteen tiles. That'll do. That'll be plenty of food to be uh, going along with. Uh, and then we will dig out. 
All of that. And in fact, that as well. Okay, so once they're set in, uh, and once they are able to be farmed, we'll put in some of these uh, mealwood seeds. Uh, how many have we got at the moment? Uh, we have two. So that's it's a start. We'll, we're almost certainly going to get some more. Uh, these buried objects here are often um, mealwood seeds or muckroot. Um, so we'll, we'll get a few more as we dig this out. Uh, the next bit of research we want to look at, I think, is going to be automation. So, um, we get interior decoration here. We get a, a lamp, lights, and a flower pot. But this is where we get automation. Um, we want this. Basically, it, it basically runs on a, a, a yes-no system, depending on whether a signal is being sent or not. Uh, and we can do things like set up smart batteries eventually with that. Um, and it's essential for a lot of the automated uh, systems later on. So, good one to go for fairly early on. I'll spin on till morning. Okay, it's morning again. Uh, they are back to building and digging and researching and all of that stuff. Uh, one of them's going to have to come and use the generator very quickly because that's about to run out of power. Um, up here, we've got a, the first of our um, farm tiles in. So I'm going to select these mealwood seeds to plant uh, and just copy those across to there. Yeah, okay. Spinning on is what we're going to have to do. Um, let's have a look. This is our skills page. So we're waiting for them to basically level up. They need 3,000, um, skill points to level up. Um, and they're all a little bit away. Uh, but you can see that they've got all these different skills that they can level up in. Some of them they are interested in. Um, so learning those doesn't cost as much, uh, morale. Yeah. So it, it it basically gives them a morale boost as well, as you can see. So if, if you select farming on uh, Botus there, their morale goes up to three. Their morale need goes up by one. Um, but if you select grilling, the need goes up, but the morale doesn't. That's how it works, basically. Okay, building morale is, is, is a case of giving them, you know, better food, better places to sleep, things like that. Basically, um, making the place nice to live in. Okay, I'm going to spin on until all these are laid in then. That might be a day or two, but that's that's our priority at the moment. Okay then, day five. We've researched uh, automation. That's good. We've got all the automation stuff available. Well, not available yet because we haven't um, got refined metal yet. Uh, our next bit of research. Oh, I want to go for... Where are we? Here we are. Uh, I want to go for the liquid pump and the uh, pipes and all of that. Um, but I want to get this unlocked for later on because it's got the plumber lavatories and sinks and showers and things like that, which is useful. Um, so I might as well get both of them whilst I'm here, as it were. Uh, we've still only got three mealwood seeds, which isn't great. Um, so I'm digging out uh, this section as well in the hope that we'll find some more. Um... Let's have a look. There's definitely some up here. Yeah, a few up here. There'll be some around. It'll be fine. Uh, and as these um, seed anyway, uh, as as these come into harvest anyway, they'll they'll seed. There's one there that we can auto harvest, so that's good. We'll get some food off of that. Uh, all the carbon dioxide, as you can see, is dropping down into this section here. Uh, and as this fills up, it's dropping down further into this section. Uh, we will open this up eventually. Um, so it'll be able to take a lot more water and a lot more um, uh, carbon dioxide. Just as a way to get it out of the main part of the colony, really. Um, yeah, that's basically where we are. Um, let's speed things up a bit. Get things moving. Um, we're about halfway towards our next... Uh, possible dupe. So let's get another cot in there. Uh, I'm going to keep that gap there to allow for reasonable airflow through here. 
Yeah, that's where we are. So I'm just burning through the research as quickly as possible, essentially. Okay, coming to the end of uh, cycle five then. We've got... Um, or I'm, I'm putting in some walls around here to close in this room now. Uh, I think that's a... That might be too big, but we'll we'll see once it's closed in. Uh, we've managed to get a couple more uh, mealwood seeds, so we've got some uh, food growing there. But we also have some skills. Someone has leveled up. Botus has leveled up. Right, Botus is our researcher and our farmer. I'm going to give them a farming hat. We're going to level them up in farming because that's what we need right away. Um... Thank you, thank you. Oh, and we've just researched the plumbing stuff. So we've got liquid pumps, pl uh, pipes, bridges, and vents. That's good. Uh, and, oh, in fact, they're nearly finished on the uh, the next lot as well. That's good. Oh, there we go. Botus now has a farming hat. Good for Botus. Okay, I will wait until they've done this last bit of research, which shouldn't take long. There we go. And then we will set up the next bit, which is going to be Brute Force Refinement. Uh, now, this gives us access to the water cooler and the skill, uh, the crafting station, um, so we can make bits and pieces. Uh, we won't be building that immediately. Uh, we'll probably put one of those in fairly soon. Um, but we want access to the rock crusher because then we can make refined uh minerals like copper uh which we need to make a bunch of other stuff right that room is enclosed there we go it is the right size 64 tiles uh so that's a barracks that gives everybody that sleeps in it a morale bo uh, boost so that'll be nice uh what i'm also going to do is close in that uh, they'll do that in the morning because it's now the end of the day. Um, they'll close in that and that will give them another boost because this will count as a bathroom. Uh, so yeah, we've got the um, sink, we've got the lavatory, the shower, uh, and mesh tiles. Uh, which allow water through, uh, water and gas through. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll spin on one last time. Okay, so that's now closed off, and that counts as a latrine, so that gives them another boost to their morale. That's nice. Uh, we've also got both Burton and Toot have leveled up. So, uh, Burton, you are our digger, so you're going to get uh, the hard digging skill and a hard digging hat. Uh, and Toot, you are our builder, you are going to get a construction hat. There you go. So, that means that down here... This can now be dug, because this is hard rock. This is granite. So this requires a higher level skill than the uh, uh, initial skill that they start with. Okay. I think we're going to leave it there to for this episode. It's a slow start, because I'm bad at this game, and I want to try and do this at least vaguely right. Um yeah, please, please, please let me know your, your comments down below. Please give me any hints and tips, because as I've said many times, I'm, I'm just trying to set expectations. I am bad at this game. There will be dupe deaths. I mean, dupes are stupid and they will wall themselves in or drown themselves or something stupid at some point, because that's what they do. But they, they there will be deaths. I'm just preparing you for that. Um, but thanks very much for watching. Please do give us a like and a subscribe. Um, as I say, please give us any comments down below. And please join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Oxygen Not Included. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye.